Hey everybody, how is it going? It's Dunbar Snackbar here with MLB The Show 19 and Road to the Show. So in this particular series, I was in a pretty big dilemma on who I was going to create. Years past, I've made some pretty cool people, whether it be Ajax, Bookers, Quince Paladoris, um, Timmy Timmons, all of that. And I was like, oh, what do I want to do? So with this being a short year, uh, given that I am starting this very, very late, I, I didn't want to make anybody like super cool. Uh, here I go saying that, and now I'm going to just let you guys know I'm making myself. So this is something I never got a chance really to be able to do, but Dunbar Snack Bar is going to be who I'll be playing as for the position player for Road to the Show. I personally played catcher in real life, but having gone through and played a couple games, I found the catcher gameplay to be pretty boring, so I will be playing as a shortstop. The way I want to do this as far as format goes is something different than what you have seen in the past. Usually it was just, boom, one game, uh, get it over with, all of that. Not going to be the case because of the way that the... Uh, attribute system has changed and I'm sure you guys are familiar with it looking at other uh, MLB the show youtubers it's kind of knowing how things have changed you really have to play a whole bunch hey cool feeling to start this off that is a great start to road to the show but anyway you really have to grind through a lot of games to be able to get your attributes up uh, far more than in the past where you could just purchase points and upgrade yourself that way at least that's what I've been able to find. I haven't found anything that, you know, kind of lets you get that extra bump. And I, I really did want to do that just so I could go ahead and get right to the majors for you guys. Or at least get there a lot quicker. But that's not going to be the case. So we're going to have to go through this. So um, what I'm thinking about doing is rather than just showing you guys one game, I just kind of show you highlights from, you know, the series that I have. So the stretch over three or four games and just kind of give you guys the highlights because I think there's some things that you guys probably don't want to see. I figure like at bats is, is pretty cool to be able to see. And for me, from a commentary standpoint, I really enjoy what Road to the Show gives me. Ooh, nice hit into the gap in left center. That is going to bring one run home. So my first at bat is going to be an RBI double. Great start to Road to the Show. Uh, but yeah, no, I've always enjoyed Road to the Show, not just because of the story that's created, the gameplay and stuff like that, but it does give me a chance to sit back, relax, and to talk to you guys a little bit. So I've uh, I've decided to also make a pitcher for the purposes of being able to do the type of commentary where I get to even more sit back, relax, and talk to you guys. I remember some of the favorite videos of mine were like Q&As, telling you guys what was going on in real life, all of that. So having been able to create uh, that person, I think that'll, that'll kind of give me a, a break from some of the fast-paced type of stuff that you see on this channel, whether it be uh, football or even franchise mode. Some of that stuff goes pretty quick. And from a commentary perspective, you really got to be on the ball with everything that is going on. Okay, so uh, with this, we have got two games in the the uh, showcase here at the beginning of it. So I'll just show you both games basically in their entirety. I cut a few things out because, like, if I'm fielding and somebody comes up to bat, you probably don't want to see who they are because you're never going to see them again. It's not like they are real people and you don't have a tie to them. Ooh, good one. Oh, he's going to dive and miss it. Another double. Not going to be an RBI double, but we'll take that. The way that I created myself here was kind of more in line with how I uh, was as a player when I was much younger. It was all about contact and speed. That was my bread and butter. You guys know that with Road to the Show and anybody that I create, that tends to be the type of player that I make. So contact is not a thing. I think Lou Gehrig might have been the only time where I created somebody that was not all about speed and contact. I mean, he had a lot of power. So uh, stolen bases galore is what I'm hoping to be able to do. So these quick counts, not really like them too much because I know when I get to the point where I can start stealing bases and everything, that's going to be one opportunity 
or two or three opportunities taken away from me to be able to get that stolen base and that's going to be huge for me that's what i want to dominate is it's stolen bases i think i've already got like 80 speed or something like that at this point I, and i <laughs> the run that i've got is absolutely ridiculous some point i might have to go through and change that animation but honestly that might be just the thing the most ridiculous looking run i think it's because he's so fast and animation doesn't just go with it but anyway i might keep it we'll see two for two so far this game coming home both at bats too we're up seven to two feeling pretty good about how this one is going to end up i don't I can't recall like if the result of the game really matters that much as far as my own career progression, but we'll see. And no big surprise, I will be playing at, uh, with the Oakland Athletics. Like that's the organization that I'm going to choose. You do get, uh, I think, at the end of the second game, you get the opportunity to choose what team that you want to play for. Or if you just want to be randomly selected. So for this one, since it is me, I did want to make sure that I uh, play for the Oakland A's. So that will hopefully be happening here before we get to MLB The Show 20. And what will be cool with that, uh, I'm, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth. I think with the pitcher, I will continue on into MLB The Show 20. I just don't know if I'll keep myself as the road to the show that I do in the future high fly ball in a left field yeah that'll be caught not too surprised by that since my power is pretty weak being able to see a hit like that uh, I guess we kind of excited for what will come down the line as I work and continue to get some good hits I'll build up that power also have some opportunities in between some of the games to do some training that will also allow me to bring up the the power so we'll probably see some home runs but part of me wishes i i couldn't upgrade my power just so i can get those you know just decent hits in the infield maybe or in the in the outfield i was thinking about those short hits too that go over the infield you know it turned into a single and get two stolen bases out of it you know go to second and go on over to third also depends though because like third base is the one that's obviously the most difficult to do i you know will usually steal third when i've got a right-handed hitter up just so the pitcher has to move out of the way and that's some extra time that allows you to to get the bag a little bit easier too at least that's what i found in the game but gosh i'm like itching to steal a base right here Another big thing that contributes to the number of stolen bases that you get is where you are at in the lineup. You know, if I'm batting first, then that means at the beginning of every game, you know, and I'm uh, obviously the the first person batting, nobody's on base. I, I've got a green light, basically, but it's like if you're batting ninth or something, you know, there's, there's times you're going to come up to the plate where you've got, you know, some of the people before you getting a single or something and... You can't go anywhere because they're already there on the base. Okay. We're at 500. Runners on first and second. We're up 12 to 2. I don't think this is a situation where batting clutch is really going to matter that much. I'll have to wait and see. You guys may have noticed my strategy of waiting till the first strike before I start swinging at stuff. Just to kind of drive up their pitch count. And I'm always on the lookout to see if there's going to be a pitch just right over the heart of the plate that I could swing. So it's it's not going to be just always taking that uh, first strike. What I used to do to kind of like discipline myself is I would even go ahead and just set the controller on the desk. So that way there's no chance whatsoever I could swing at it. But there's it seems like the computer will adjust quite a bit. So if they start to see that trend, I've noticed... Or at least it feels like to me that the computer will throw more right over the heart of the plate, which are great ones to swing at. On the back, so I feel up, like I need to find up. a balance. Uh, poor timing. Hey, I'm safe. It's not going to count as a hit, though. As you can see, it's going to be an error. But it's not like I caused an out. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to, to come home. Grand slam right here. Except it's not. 
Easy throw over to first. That is going to go ahead and end the top of the ninth. I think what will happen, unless we see some fielding highlight, we're going to transition over to the next game. Let's take a look here. Yep, so this is the end of the game. Went two for five. Uh, not bad. This is, as you've probably noticed from the, like it's showcasing some of the levels. Oh, application suspending because it can't be verified. Cool. That's nice to know. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm like at level three or something like that. So I'll, I'll get the timing down. Don't worry about it, guys. The thing about Road to the Show that can be difficult, though, and I struggled with this in the past, especially very early on, there is obviously a big skill gap that you're going to find when you're playing in the majors and you're playing in the minor leagues like this. And so I felt my timing was just always messed up until I got to the major leagues in both uh, series. So we'll see how how that impacts not only franchise, but road to the show also. Just like, just one big jump when you get them all aligned, I feel like. Okay, so game number two, since I went two for five, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I don't know how that's going to impact my draft stock, but um, not going to worry about it. I, I, I didn't do this, and I'm just telling you guys this now. I didn't do the college part of it I probably should have but that's something I did want to wait until next year to be able to do and man that reminds me there used to be like a college baseball game and that was that was super awesome that that was right after EA lost the contract to do baseball games man 2k at that time was the only one that could do it except uh, I think that the way that the contract went is 2k could do a baseball game unless you were like the maker of the console which is why sony and san diego sports have mlb the show but man yeah so they 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 did a college baseball game which was really really different the thing that i like i miss about that game not only getting a chance to play is some pretty cool teams in college baseball but just the ping of the aluminum bat man that was awesome. Nice contact. Decent power. It's not going to do anything. You know, that's... You taking a look at this and with the new attribute system that they have in place, I am pretty surprised that you do not get any credit whatsoever for making great contact with a pitch like that. doesn't have to necessarily be a major... You know, or, or even a decent increase but just just a tiny bit for making that good contact that's one of the things i did like about the old system is you would get solid contact or something like that and it would it would give you some points that you could then in turn go and spend on upgrading yourself but i don't know i i trust that they've done some good balancing and and stuff with it and it'll probably improve next year too so maybe i'm not the only one who has that type of feedback or if you get a you know you make solid contact with the ball that you get a little bit of a boost. Again, this one going into right field. It's going to turn into a double. Sliding in them good. Three hits over these two games. All of them have been doubles. So the speed is really coming into play here. Like I said, I'm going to have to get this timing down though, guys. Shouldn't be too hard. It'll just take me a few games. We'll actually see once we get to double A if it improves at all. I don't know how, you know, these prospects, how their attributes fare compared to the people in double A. I would imagine that your double A players are going to have higher attributes than these guys, but you never know. All right, top of the fifth. We are up one to nothing. I'm on third. High fly ball in the left field. Should be easy for me to tag up. There we go. And coming home with the ridiculous run. I think every time I've gotten on base. No, not every time I've gotten on base because there was that error that we had at the end of the last game. But every hit that I've gotten has produced a run. That's efficiency right there. Easy throw over to first. I'm glad that the fielding, you know, like, I don't know if you call it a mini game, but 
what you got to do to get the ball over to first. Really hasn't changed that much at all. I thought that was a pretty good system. I was kind of nervous, like, if I selected an outfielder, how that was going to go to see if it's changed. Because I feel like even the camera here for shortstop has changed. Where it's a little bit farther back, you get a better idea of where the ball is going. Your reaction isn't as much of a concern. I'm wondering if it's the same thing in the outfield. Maybe we're going to have to wait till next year to see if that is going to be the case. I want to make sure that the person I make next year is really, really good. I don't know if I want to go back necessarily to a player that I had created in the past, like let's say Timmy Timmons or, you know, as I mentioned, Squince Paladoris. You know, those types of guys. Ricky Henderson. That'd be a cool one. Or I don't know if you guys just want me to, to create somebody cool. Like how we had Fritz McChickens, you know, for MLB The Show. Um, you know, Flint Beastwood from Madden and stuff. I, I don't know of any of those names, you know, coming up with somebody like that. Cletus Clocksworth or whatever. If you guys enjoyed having those funky names. Or if you wanted like a, an MLB legend who's been cloned or something like that. I don't know. I Let me know in the comment section what you guys would want to see. I will have to come up with it myself. Two on what I might want to do. We'll see. See, it's pitches like that. It's like, dude, maybe I shouldn't be waiting for the first strike. Because some of them, like, if I move, you know, where I'm going to be, you know, aiming to swing and stuff like that, it seems like they're right in the heart of that, too. Even if I'm just, you know, starting off the at bat, it's just right in the middle of it. Like, they're wanting me to get the runs and stuff. All right, base is loaded here in the top of the eighth. This one going into right field. Not a surprise. It is caught. Decent power. Tagging up. Coming home. RBI. Perfect. Okay. Hey, I'll take that. Runners on second and third each advanced. So four to nothing, as you can see. Bottom of the eighth. Should come away with a W here, too. So going 2-0 and oh in the uh, prospect games. Easy tag on second. And looking at where we're at here, you can see we're heading into the ninth inning. I'm not going to be batting unless they get a number of hits. All right, that's going to be the end of the game. So remember, I'm going to be playing for the Oakland Athletics. So the Rock Counts is going to be the team that you'll see me playing as in the next part. I'd be interested to see what your guys' feedback is on just doing highlights from each particular series that I play as opposed to just kind of sitting through all the games like this. Fielding, you probably won't see too many highlights there, but I'll kind of have to go through and see and play it out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Join the Discord. That is in the description below. Patreon is a great way to help support me and the growth of this channel, so if you can, drop a few bucks there. That also helps. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, like the video. You guys know the drill. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, you guys have a good one.